Good afternoon, everybody, coming to you from the Magic Kingdom. I know, it's been a while since we've been here, you guys. It's gonna be a fun day today. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be amazing. I have a special thing for you guys at the end of the vlog. You gotta keep watching to see what it is. Something I've never been done before. Haley isn't here today because she is out with her mom. Wish you were here, babe. I love you and I miss you. But today's gonna be fun, you guys. It's a Sunday, not too bad. Wait times aren't that bad. I think I've seen the longest one of 65, which is Space Mountain. But again, guys, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real. So stay tuned for that special thing at the end of the vlog, guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you can let notice when I upload new videos on a weekly basis. All right, guys, let's get this day started. It is gonna be fun, fantastic, filled day. All right, everybody, so the first bit of difference that I see here at Magic Kingdom today is Splash Mountain has walls up around it. Might just be their annual maintenance or their annual refurbishment, which is something they do every year. So that's something different. I was actually kind of hoping to go on Splash today. Huh. But the Golden Oak Outpost is open today, so I'm going to go get some of their chili cheese fries see how those are and later tonight i got a reservation somewhere that i've never been that's what the big surprise is it's gonna be a dining reservation and we're gonna be able to watch the fireworks so join me on this adventure today guys it shall be fun it shall be fantastic and like and subscribe for more disney content Alrighty everybody, so I just got my food here at the Golden Oak Outpost. If you don't know where that it is, it is across the way from Pico Bills. It's usually never open. But today I saw it was open and I grabbed Walt's Famous Chili Cheese Fries. Sorry, I was looking at the receipt. So, the Chili Cheese Fries are $6.49. I got a sweet tea also, which was another $4. Came out to a total of $11.16. Not bad not bad at all especially for the amount of fries you get it's a decent amount they look good they smell good and as you know just regular sweet tea you guys and they got the good ice as you seen in my last vlog when I was at um, Galaxy's Edge that was with the good ice also so I think Disney is fully switching over to the good ice so I'm gonna take a bite of this give you guys my little take on it see what it's like mm. yes I suggest if this place is open when you guys are here on vacation or if you're an annual pass holder like me you probably already know what it tastes like but if you're here on vacation definitely stop by the Golden Outpost get you some Walt's chili cheese fries they are delicious they are worth it every penny so with that being said, you guys, I'm going to dig into these. And then we have a return time for Pirates of the Caribbean. That's going to be my first ride of the day. And once I'm done eating, we're going to go ride Pirates. Alrighty, everybody. So that was a great lunch right there. I am stuffed. I am ready to go ride some rides. Let's head on over to Pirates of the Caribbean, you guys. It's been a while since I rode that ride. I'll let you guys know how the Lightning Lane timing was compared to standby now just reiterate I am using a disability access pass I'm not I didn't buy lightning lane I don't want to buy it I've heard nothing but bad things about it so we're gonna try out the DAS I've used it before and yeah so I'll let you guys know how that is compared to the standby
feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. Alrighty everybody, so to give you an update on the time I just got off Pirates, it was, oh no, where'd it go? It was a six minute wait. Standby said 40. So that's worth it. And while I was on the ride, I met some awesome people. They are Share the Magic Travel Company. And I just want to say, if you're looking to travel here to Florida, check them out. I will put a link to their Facebook page down below. I like them. They were nice and sweet. So yeah, definitely check them out. It is Share the Magic Travel Company. I will put down the four travel agents that I met while I was here in Disney. Make sure to check it out down below, you guys. Next ride we are going to be doing is going to be Space Mountain. I have, eh, about 10, 15 minutes where I can get on that. So I'm gonna start walking over that way and we'll check out the wait times there. All right, everybody, so we are over here in Tomorrowland now. I'm about to get on Space Mountain. The current wait time is around 60 minutes and I will let you guys know when I get off what it is with uh, Lightning Lane. It should be about half that, should be around 30, hopefully. I know with Pirates, it was only six minutes. Posted wait time was like 40 or something like that. So that was quick. Hopefully space is the same way, you guys. It's gonna be fun. You guys are gonna go in my backpack and I will catch you guys when I get off. Just to let you guys know, this is the current line right now for Space Mountain. This is standby. So with this being standby, and that means it is over an hour wait probably. They're estimating 60 minutes. So let's check and see what the lightning lane looks like. I'll catch you guys when I get off. All right, everybody. So I am now back off Space Mountain and the wait time was currently 75 minutes. But utilizing lightning lane, I waited a whole five minutes and 27 seconds. So for me so far in my experience today, of the two times utilizing it, I would say the Lightning Lane is worth it, you guys. If you're wanting to come and get a lot of rides done, I'm gonna keep utilizing it for the rest of the day until my dinner reservation, which keep watching because that's gonna be a surprise. And I might jump on the People Mover next, depending on the wait time, see if I can get a return time for that. And yeah, just relax a little bit. Space Mountain was rough. I don't remember it being that rough on your back. Like, it was jerky today. Probably didn't help that I got the back seat, but I still love it, you guys. It's still a great time. And I love bringing you guys on these adventures to Disney with me. All right, so if I can get a return time for the People Mover, the next clip you're gonna see is gonna be me on the People Mover because I want to check out the Tron, Tron construction. See how close they are to getting that thing opened. I cannot wait for Tron to open up, you guys. That is going to be an amazing, amazing ride. Towards the checkered flag in your very own race car. Yo, 
Driver Room, this is your chance to drive in the fast lane without worrying about getting a speeding ticket. If you don't know who Paging Mr. Morrow is, I will link his channel down below. Okay, that was something different, you guys. Didn't think about that. So that was the beacon of magic. <clears throat> it is cold. My fingers are frozen. Um, I am going to be heading over to the Emporium before my dinner reservation. And I will be probably buying another sweater, spear jersey, something. Because it is cold tonight, you guys. Alrighty, everybody. So as you can see, I'm in a different hat now. I had to buy a beanie. It is cold. For Florida, it is cold. It is 50-something degrees. The low tonight is going to be 32. So we have almost an hour till my reservation, my dining reservation. So I was able to snag a time to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So that's where I'm headed right now. And I will catch you guys on the runaway train. Alrighty everybody, so here's the treat. Tonight, we are eating at the Crystal Palace. Yes, it is a full buffet again. It's not family style. You walk up there and you get your own food. I am going to be relaxing, eating, showing you guys, you know, kind of what the atmosphere is like. So far, I love it. It is quiet. I got a beautiful view of the castle right now. I mean, it's not the best view, but it works. So let me guys, let me know, guys, down below. How did you like Enchantment? How do you compare it to Happily Ever After? Let me know your insights, you guys. So we are going to go grab some grub because I am starving. I am hungry. So, I started off with two plates. This one I got the raviolis, the mushrooms, and the mahi mahi. This one, I got Walt's mashed potatoes, roast beef, some chicken, prime rib, and then just a kid's beef, beef enchilada. I wanted to try it. So I'm going to dig into all this and tell you guys what I think after. All right, everybody. So the first round of food, delicious. The prime rib was really good. The raviolis were different, but they were good. Um, the portobello mushrooms, mm, those things are to die for. Everybody, happy birthday. Um, so I'm on the second round, which is going to be dessert because 9 o'clock. <clears throat> so, s'mores tart, strawberry shortcake, butterscotch pudding, and a brownie cupcake. Just a basic dessert, you guys. 
but uh, yeah, I'm gonna dig into this, then I'm gonna get the check, pay, and then I'll probably be outside. Alrighty, everybody, so how about that dinner? Crystal Palace for the win tonight. It was delicious. I am stuffed to my gills. It is cold. It has been a long day, but guess what, guys? It has been a fun day hanging out with you today. I enjoyed it. I miss it. I'm back. 2022 is going to be the year. It was good seeing... Uh, sharing the Magic Travel Company. Awesome. Love to meet new people every day. So, with the dinner, with an AP discount, originally it's like $39.99 a person. Not bad for it being a buffet. Sorry. Not bad for being a buffet, you guys. Especially a Disney buffet. Like, whoo, good. Um, with an AP discount, it came out to like 37 and some change. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Not for the amount of food you get, plus buffet service. Mm. And it's a true buffet again, guys. I miss having a true buffet at Disney. So, my thoughts on it. If you can grab a reservation for it, do it. Because it is 100% worth it, you guys. The food is delicious. Um, I didn't eat everything because I got full fast for some reason. But the stuff that I did have, oh, the s'mores. Those little s'more tarts, dude. The, the s'more tart things. Oh, the strawberry shortcake. I don't know how they do it, but it tastes like a straight up strawberry shortcake, you guys. Um, the pudding was just pudding. The brownie was just a brownie. But the uh, prime rib was delicious. They had peel and eat shrimp. I didn't get any of that because I didn't really feel like shrimp tonight. But it was delicious, guys. So with that being said, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and a subscribe. Subscribe if you're not already. If you are subscribed, share it to your friends and family. That's completely free, you guys. I'm out here doing this for you. It is fun out here making content for you guys. Especially when I can do it from the happiest place on earth. Walt Disney World. And like I said, this year it's going to be a whole new year. New adventures. New things to do. Less Universal content. More Disney content. Because that seems to be what you guys like. I'm a Disney channel. I'm a Disney guy. So, share it to your friends and family. Tell them to subscribe. Because guess what? Weekly content's coming, baby. Weekly content's coming. So, on another level. It has been a fun night, guys. But it is cold. It is 39 degrees. And I'm ready to go home and get warm. Until next time, y'all. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. And... I will be back out here again in a couple of days. So, until next time, y'all, see you real soon. Night, Cindy.